Hurricane Michael damaged homes, businesses, and even churches. And while many took heed to evacuate, it left some without homes when they returned. It's not going to be an easy process. So um, while we're doing, personally, what I'm doing is just praying to Jehovah for help and just taking it one day at a time. According to Franklin County Sheriff A.J. Smith, there were no fatalities during Hurricane Michael. Residents have power and water, and the wheels on the bus go round and round as students return to school. It's such a good feeling you can't even, you know, describe. Well, me and my buddy Jason Chandler, we're uh, FDNY firefighters from New York City. We sleep on cots. We have everything available. There's food there usually, and, um, you know, uh, hygiene equipment. So uh, everything's, you know, it's good. It's a good two weeks. The city was left with a chill after warm waters made its way to the coast. But as for Apalachicola, residents have no curfew. The usage of Highway 98 and the resources are widespread. Clean and stuff.